Hey there, Sun Creators, Mr. Hanson back with another video for you, COVID edition. <clears throat> Today we're talking about simple interest. So my central question is how do I use the formula for simple interest? So simple interest equation is I equals PRT, which means that we are multiplying these three together. Okay, to find the interest amount, all right? So, what does each letter represent? The I represents the interest, which is an amount, <clears throat> okay, paid over time. The principal is also a dollar amount, okay, that is either borrowed over time or owed over time, okay? Now, the rate... <clears throat> is a percent as a decimal, okay? And the T represents the time, which has to be in years. So if we look at this first example, <clears throat> I'm trying to find the interest. I know the principal amount is $100. I have a rate of 5%, which I need to convert as a decimal, which would be 0 0.05. And then I have a time, which is two years. So <clears throat> if I go over here and I write this as I equals 100 times my rate of 0 0.05 times 2, I can now use that to find my interest, okay? So I'm going to again open up my calculator here. So, whoops, there's my calculator. Show it up here. So I'm going to take my interest, which was $100, multiply it by my rate, which was 0 0.05 times two years, and that gives me $10, and that's an amount. So I'm going to go back to my example here, and I write I equals 100 times 0 0.05 times two gives me 10 so if I borrow $100 at 5% interest for two years, I pay an extra $10 in interest on top of the $100, $100 that I borrowed and have to eventually pay back. Okay, so now let's get into a word problem. This example says Denzel opened a savings account that made 9% annual interest. So this 9% is my rate R. After 18 months, that's my T time, she made $243 in interest, which represents the letter I. The question's asking, how much money did she put into her savings account? So I'm looking for the principal amount, P. Okay, so the first step, I'm going to use the formula. Interest equals P times R times T. The second step is I'm going to replace the variables with the quantities that I know from my example. So first one I know is my rate is 9%, which I need to change to a decimal. I know my time is 18 months, which I need to convert to years. So there's 12 months in one year. So I need to figure out how many months or how many years is 18 months. So I need to figure that out by taking and saying, okay, there's six additional months to get from 12 to 18. Six is half of a year, so that would be 1.5 years. So 18 months in years is 1.5. 9% as a decimal is 0 0.09. And then I have my interest of 243. So now I can replace everything I know for step two. So I rewrite this as $243 equals the principal, which I still don't know, times my rate, 0 0.09, times 1.5. All right. So now, step three, we plugged in. Step four, we solve for the variable P. The first step, I need to multiply my decimals together, 0 0.09 and 1.5. So I'm going to use my calculator, type in 0 0.09, multiply that by 1.5. I get 0 0.135. So I go back over to my example. 
and I have $243 equals the principal amount times 0 0.136, excuse me, 135, my fault. Okay, so now I can't multiply the principal by that decimal amount because I don't know what it is. So like we talked about before, the percent equation, I'm going to divide 0 0.135, which will cancel out on that side. So then I'm going to divide $243 by 0 0.135. And that will tell me the principal amount that was put into the savings account. All right, so I'm going to go back to my calculator, type in $243 divided by 0 0.135, giving me $1,800. So there was a $1,800 put into the savings account. All right, so that's it for simple interest. Get these two examples written down in your notes, in your little one-pager notes here. And we'll see you next time.